hi welcome or welcome back if this is your first time my name is sam and we do mostly tea related things here because of all the long videos i've done recently i want to do something a bit shorter and so today i am just going to do a quick show review haul of my gorgeous Curtis of suffolk teapot i absolutely adore this teapot i have never used it and i probably will never use it but i think it's so gorgeous i'll give you a little close-up so you've got all of the individual typewriter keys there and then on the top it has a nice little um piece of writing this is the part that comes out and you've got a good sizable teapot there and it actually holds very nicely considering how big it is it has a nice hand feel to it you've got a nice spout there for catching drips and i just think the detailing on this is absolutely phenomenal you've got all of your numbers are one to nine shift shift question mark the letters just i genuinely don't know how they put these letters on they're probably some sort of like little sticker you can see on their website that they hand paint a lot of things and i think you can see that some of this is hand painted because it's not a perfect line but i think that just adds to it even more and our top scroll says the federation of small business in the uk's leading business organization promoting and protecting the interests and rights of self-employed and owners of small firms formed in 1974 with around 200,000 members uk across the three across 33 regions and around 200 branches i'll give you another close-up of this bit you've got the pro you won't see this bit but you can really see the paper and where it would curl round whatever this part of the typewriter is called and just I, again you can see that it is hand painted because the lines aren't perfect but i think that just adds to it even more it just looks so gorgeous but this was hand done this wasn't done by a machine like most teapots that you would see in standard stores so this is uk made and I loved this one so much because I am a small business in the UK and it just completely embodies everything that I wanted. It's a typewriter and I spent so much time on my computer. It just, I'd never even heard of them. Um, it rattles. <laughs> I'd never actually heard of this company, Carthus of Suffolk, before. But I, I saw this on Facebook Marketplace for £20 and I kind of just really wanted it. And then when it came home and I saw how beautiful it was, um, I just had to know where it came from and how much it originally cost. It originally retails for £75, so that is a huge bargain for me. And the lady that we brought it off said that she'd never used it, she won it in a raffle. So, I mean, I just think it's so beautiful. It usually sits um, up here on my bookshelves because I just love to look at it while I'm working. It was kind of a dangerous buy though. I instantly went on their website to see how much it cost and then I saw all of the other teapots they do. And they do like planes, which I love to travel. They do like stacks of books. Clearly, I like books. <laughs> and it's just, you know, little coffee tables with cakes and like little teacups on top of the teapot. Oh, they're just so beautifully and like unique and i feel like at some point i'm probably gonna end up with more and it's probably gonna make my brand but it's worth it if it brings you joy let me know in the comments below something ridiculously expensive tea related that you own i know tea with jan recently did a video of the most quirky tea thing that you've brought and it was a massive uh wittard's tea tin that was so cute she has it in her background which again it's a background thing <laughs> i'll link that video as well actually because i found that was a really like, cute little video and it she has such a quirky personality that it just 
makes you want to keep going back and she definitely deserves to hit a thousand subscribers talking of people that deserve to hit a thousand subscribers guys we're over a hundred and i really really want to reach a thousand if you haven't uh, been following me on social media or anything then i have said that when i reach a thousand subscribers i will donate a hundred pounds to all hands and hearts who do amazing work across the globe and i've currently stopped all of their programs due to uh, the coronavirus that's going around to keep all their volunteers safe so when they get up and running again they're going to need that money so help me you're just out of home you're bored right lockdown it doesn't take much just click the subscribe button all right well i hope you liked this video a bit shorter than the other ones i've been paying out and i hope you will come back again next time all right bye